If I'm looking to buy or sell a house in Fort Thomas, Kentucky, what are the real estate trends looking like? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. So hey everyone, this is Eric Stanio from Keller Williams Realty and TeamStanio.com where we are helping you bridge your way to your future real estate dreams. And in this video, I wanna do, uh, this is kind of our first attempt at this, a market update. Um, looking at the real estate trends in different neighborhoods across Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky, and I'm starting here in Fort Thomas, Kentucky. Why? Because I live in Fort Thomas, Kentucky. And uh, my wife and I have been there for uh, let's see, about six or seven years now. And uh, we we love it. Fort Thomas is amazing. So um, if you're looking to come to Fort Thomas, I highly recommend it. It's, it's an amazing community. Uh, for those of you who are living here and are looking to sell, you know that you know this to be true. Um, our oldest son's at Moyer Elementary right now. We have four kids and it's just, it's an incredible community if you're wanting to raise a family. I highly recommend it. But um, we'll do another video where we talk about all the amenities and, and uh, how great Fort Thomas is. In this video, I want to get into just some what, what are the recent market dynamics uh, that have happened. We're going to look over a two-year period of market trends so you guys can get a feel. You know, is this a good time to be selling in Fort Thomas or, or and if I'm buying, looking to move into Fort Thomas, uh, what, might I, what might I be seeing? So let's dive in. I'm going to switch over to my desktop view so you guys can, can see this. All right, so what we're looking at here is from April 2016 through April, the end of April 2018. So a two years, uh, two years of monthly reports here, and we're looking at different market dynamics in Fort Thomas, Kentucky. And I wanted to start with just the median price sold. Okay, and what we see here is going back to April 2016, the median price was 174,000. And here in April 2018, the statistics we have uh, so far this year, where it's up to 273,000, almost 274, a difference of nearly $100,000 in median price change. So this is obviously a, a huge difference in change, 57%, um, in that we're seeing here in terms of, uh, you know, the the numbers of dollars and thousands sold between over just two years. So. Uh, this is good news if you're a seller, um, and I want to compare this. This is all the data, um, but the second report here is uh, has still those median numbers, and you can see that was a 57% increase in median. Uh, but this is also comparing the average sales price. So this is maybe a little bit more realistic view as to what has the market done over the past two years. And so what you see here in the average numbers is that back in April. Uh, 2016, we we're at 221, almost 222,000 uh, in average sales price, and here in April 2018, we're at 278,000. So still, uh, the median and the average are really close here in, in this year. Um, so still a, a pretty large increase. So what you're seeing over the last two years uh, is an average of 25% increase in average sale price in Fort Thomas, Kentucky. So about 12%, a little over 12% appreciation a year. Um, again, um, as you can kind of see, the market has risen and fallen. Um, typically, it's going to rise uh, here in these spring to summer months. The highest uh, median was back in September 16. I'm sorry, that, that's, uh, let's see, highest median is right here, this column. And the highest average uh, was actually this year in February 2018. So these trends, let's go on to the next uh, report here and what, what, it, what this is telling us and how we can actually interpret this data. Um, so you're just not looking at charts, but what this is saying, uh, so th this report is the supply and demand, and these I did for detached residential units in Fort Thomas. And again, what you see uh, is essentially the inventory has gone down. So in April 2016, there were 74 units for sale. And in April uh, 18, there are 56 units right here uh, in red. So the amount of inventory has gone down 24%. So the amount, the average price has gone up 25%. The amount of inventory has gone down, right? So if you're, again, if you're a seller, this is great news for you because um, 
it's a seller's market for sure. The prices are, are higher than they have been and the inventory is lower. Um, that, that's great news for you. If you're a buyer, this is certainly a little bit more challenging of a market for you. It doesn't mean you can't get into Fort Thomas. Uh, it just means that right now it's more of a seller's market. And so you gotta be able to work quickly, uh, make sure you get all your ducks lined up in a row if you're wanting to buy in, in Fort Thomas. In fact, we've got another video where we're showing tips for what to do as a buyer in a seller's market. Uh, just one last report here that's kind of in line, kind of the um, same information, but a different, uh, different take on it. What this is, th is the uh, months of supply of inventory. So the supply of inventory means if you take a look at the average days on market and the amount of homes that are out there, how many months will it take to sell all of the homes on the market? So back in uh, April 2016, you were at 4.1 for the monthly supply. And here in April 18, you're at 1.7. So again, kind of the same information, but a different read on it, which is essentially, um, there's not a lot of inventory out there. So this is showing the percent change is down about 60%. Uh, in terms of the months of supply of inventory, it's low right now. Now, it, we're, we're about midway through May right now, so this data will update at the end of the month. Um, and typically what we see is more inventory come on the market in May, but you also get a lot of activity in June. So you can see that in 16. Uh, in 17, it stayed relatively low uh, April through, Jan uh, through the summer. And then inventory starts to go back up a little bit and usually gets higher in the winter months. And here we had a, a large tick of inventory in December of 17. Um, and then it gets eaten back up as buyers are getting out there and, and buying homes again. So that's a look at the data here in Fort Thomas and a look at what the current market trends are looking like. Uh, in Fort Thomas, Kentucky. And, and you'll see if you're looking across different Northern Kentucky markets or Cincinnati, um, similar trends, though every market's gonna be a little bit different. All right, so hey guys, that was a quick look at some of the, the data and the market trends happening in Fort Thomas and Kentucky. Um, you know, to interpret all that again, what that means essentially is it's a seller's market. So if you have been thinking about selling your house in Fort Thomas, maybe you want an upgrade, uh, potentially you're moving to another area, whatever the reason is, now's a really good time uh, to be selling your house. The inventory is low, the average sale price is higher, and uh, you're probably gonna get you know, a really good good price for your house if you list it here in 2018. If you're looking to buy in Fort Thomas, um, you know, it, it's good to know that it is a seller's market right now. It doesn't mean you can't buy a house. Obviously, homes are being bought in Fort Thomas, Kentucky. Um, but the current market, what we're seeing is that um, it is a seller's market. And so you need to be ready, get, your, uh, get everything lined up so that when that perfect house comes on the market, you're ready to buy. Hey, if you're looking to buy or sell in Fort Thomas, Kentucky, we'd love to help you out. We're Team Stanio with KellerWilliamsRealty.com. If this video was helpful for you at all, I uh, would love, um, you know, give us a like, subscribe to this channel. We're going to be bringing out um, consistent content in terms of market updates for Cincinnati and North Kentucky. And we'll be bringing tips for sellers, tips for buyers, all kinds of video content on this channel. So, uh, you know, hit that subscribe button if you're in the market right now to either sell or buy. Um, and we're also going to be bringing content for investors. So if you've been wanting to invest in real estate in Cincinnati, uh, we have uh, a specific uh, niche. Uh, I'm an investor myself and I work with a lot of investors. We'd love to talk to you about that as well. Uh, other than that, hope this video was helpful for you guys. Um, like I said, if you are looking to buy or sell in Fort Thomas, Kentucky, give us a call and uh, we'll get going. We'll love to help you buy or sell that home. Thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you next time.